Hey guys, today is an exciting day. I just got back from uh, the end of my residency and then it's the first week back in class and I took my NCLEX predictor test and I passed! Woo! I know it's not that big of a deal, and if you don't pass, you just get to retake it. But it was a good predictor, that's what it's called, a predictor test for me to be able to get uh, confidence in passing the NCLEX, so yeah. But the most important thing today that I really can't wait to talk to you about is that now that I'm going to get my bachelor's in nursing, I can fully continue what my program was uh, supposed to be for, which is to get my master's in nursing as a nurse practitioner. So my school sent out another email requesting that I sign my intent to complete form uh, to show them that I'm dedicated to finishing up my master's degree. Um, but I still wasn't sure exactly what degree I wanted to pursue. You could pursue a master's education in nursing, you could pursue uh, a master's in administration and health administration in nursing. You could also do a family nurse practitioner which increases your availability of getting a job as a nurse practitioner in um, the place where I live, which is San Diego. But there's also the psychiatric mental health care practitioner and the acute care nurse practitioner. Unfortunately, there's not an acute care nurse practitioner service, but I'm not quite sure if I even want to do acute care. I'm really, I'm really in love with it, and I love acute care. Uh, but I haven't worked on it yet, and I don't know what I'd feel like working in acute care for about a decade, 10 to 20 years from now. Um, but in light of the recent events with all the shooting going on and the apathy and the depression of our country, I decided to... <laughs> I decided to become a psychiatric nurse practitioner. It's going to be a lot of work, it's going to be a few more years from now and it's required for me to commute from San Diego to all the way up to LA for, I don't know, probably about a year, half, a year, half six months to a year. And I, don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do that and I don't want to move from San Diego but I'm going to ask to see if I can stay with some family close to Los Angeles. It's gonna be a lot of hard work, I'm just gonna tell you that right now because I still have a lot of bills to pay. I have a lot of student loans still that I need to pay off from the first part of the program. But I think this is a career that's going to help me help other people, especially in our time where there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of social media problems, and there's a lot of um, no trust, there's a loneliness, there's crazy stuff happening and people's mental health issues are going unaddressed. I think it's a very important thing. And as, as much as I'm going to miss the glamour of ICU and acute care nurse practitioning, I think that many, many more people are going to need my services as a psychiatric nurse practitioner. Um, there's a Facebook thing right now. I put it up on Facebook and a lot of my friends and family are supporting me and even my classmates, which uh, mean a lot to me. I think they know that I'm very upbeat and I have a lot of um, uh, mental stability uh, that I can bring to the table because I've gone through a lot of things. I've gone through a lot of um, me being a gay man, me being in the gay man is in the military. Um, I had a lot to deal with a lot of issues with that. I also have dec uh, years of experience in the psych ward as well as years of experience dealing with uh, veterans from the OEF, OIN, OND, and Operation, um, yeah, the, I'm sorry, Operation New Dawn, Operation uh, Enduring Freedom, uh, all those things where I have veterans that are new that I've been with um, during times of war. And I feel like being a psychiatric nurse practitioner, I just have a lot to offer to the table. You know, it's a good career and it's in high demand and the pay is good, but I also feel like I'm going to be fulfilled in my soul, you know, like 
It brings to mind some of the people that I've worked with in the military. I wasn't super close with them, but they taught me how to be a good healthcare provider. And you know, they're not they're not with us anymore. They one of them got shot in the face, and you know, and there was a lot of a lot of hurt, a lot of mental issues that need to be dealt with uh, from veterans, from people who are feeling alone, not just veterans, you know, ordinary citizens, civilians, everybody has to deal with some kind of mental health issue. And I think this is a time of the, the decade where it shows that mental health issues are important. And I think it's worth it for me to sacrifice and learn as much as I can in order to help those that need mental health treatment. So yeah, I've decided to dedicate my life to, uh, to become a psychiatric mental health practitioner and I hope you're going to be with me on this wonderful adventure. Uh, yeah, and talk to me. Let me know exactly what you think, what decisions you're thinking about in your nursing career or any career and maybe we can support each other and I really hope that you'll be my friend. Um, and what's after this? I'm still going to finish my externship at the Neuro ICU. I still can't wait to see what it's like to become a nurse in an intensive care unit. Uh, I had a good time with my resident residency program over at the Med Surge, and it was really hard work, and I really liked it a lot. It took me a while. It was very challenging. The situations were high drama, and I didn't sit down until around after 2 p.m. Uh, because everything was just go, go, go. But I learned a lot about the meat of nursing, about how to interact with your patients, doctors, respiratory therapists, psychologists, dietitians, <clears throat> interns, residents, and uh, attending. So it was really an awesome, awesome experience. And I hope that I use what I've learned in there to further my career in whatever nurse uh, field that I decide to go into. Um, I still want to do a lot of nurse informatics stuff. I feel like there's technology that needs to be improved uh, when nurses have to chart because there's a lot of charting involved. And I feel like I can make that easier uh, for any medical practitioner. So yeah. All right, so uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd really love to hear from you. And uh, I can't wait for this new adventure. We're moving along and I feel like I'm moving forward with my life. And I hope that you are too. And uh, let's go on this adventure together, okay? All right, this is Nurse Howie, and I'll see you later. Yeah.